A Google Edition HTC One and Samsung Galaxy S4 are now on sale. Motorola gets a branding change along with some leaked phone photographs. And Sprint finally announces their first batch of Windows phones. I'm Jaime Rivera. On a hot Wednesday, wondering why nobody has invented a fast forward button for days. And this is Pocket Now Daily. As we covered on yesterday's episode of a Samsung Galaxy S4 with LTE advanced capabilities along with a Snapdragon 800 processor, you remember that one, right? Well, it's now a reality as of today. The company has now made it official for the South Korean market. And guess what? Aside from these two things that your current Galaxy S4 doesn't have, you're also starting at 32 gigs of storage. So let's wait for it to come and doesn't it burn to be an early adopter? Now let's move the spotlight over to LG as we've been expecting their Optimus G2 for some time now. And we've got some leaked photographs of a video showing a device that's probably this phone. And it's got this weird like sort of volume rocker at the back, which is completely different and unique to any other phone out there. We just wonder why. So August 7th is their event. Let's see what we get. Now let's talk about HTC and Sprint in this particular case as the carrier has finally announced their first Windows phones and among them is the HTC 8XT. And it looks like if the Windows Phone 8X and the 8S and the boom sound speakers of the HTC One had a baby. Because this phone is pretty much an 8S in specs and everything, but it does include the dual speaker functionality that you do see on the HTC One. Uh, no details on dates just yet, but the company that does have details on a date as a rumor is O2 as apparently they're talking that the HTC One Mini that we saw a couple of days ago will be ready for their carrier on August 3rd, so stay tuned for that one. Now let's talk about Motorola. There are a lot of news for this company. First of all, they have a new logo and it looks very googly, but I'm happy that they kept the Motorola M as I remembered from the early days. We've also got some leaked photographs of the Moto X, which keeps growing on me the more I see it. This does seem to be a very pretty phone. But aside from that, we've also got leaks of this new project called the Droid Ultra Phones or the lineup that's coming to Verizon apparently very soon. And the question is if this is going to be based on the Moto X or not, because apparently this will supersede the Razer lineup that we currently have. Stay tuned for that one as well. And finally, for the hot news of the day, the HTC One and Galaxy S4 Google Editions are now available at the Google Play Store for a very unaffordable price tag. We finally get what we want, though. We get the Google stock Android experience on high-end hardware, LTE connectivity, you name it, the whole nine yards. But wait just there. Apparently, these phones will be shipping with the stock kernel from OEMs and not the stock kernel from Android. So we could expect some minor delays with software updates, but I don't think that's going to be something significant. Significant. Man, anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Did you order any of these uh, Google Edition phones, the HTC One or the Galaxy S4? Or why didn't you order any of these phones? Um, in my particular case, I'm waiting for one of these phones to reach our labs for us to get our final verdict of what these phones are like. But so far, I am quite compelled. So leave us a comment down below. What have you done? And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.